Hi, and thanks for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and label our notes 3.0, Evaluating and Writing Expressions. Today we're going to be writing down eight things and trying eight questions. So once you get the title of your notes, go ahead and click play. So the first one, we're just, you're just going to watch me try. It says evaluate when x is equal to negative 3 and y is equal to 5. What you need to do first is plug in x and y where they are located. So instead of 6x, it'll be 6 times negative 3, and instead of 2y, it'll be 2 times 5. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, 2 times 5 is 10, and negative 18 plus 10 is negative 8. Remember, you do need to keep into consideration your order of operations here. Next two you're going to try, so go ahead and try these. This time you're multiplying by one-fourth, so just keep that in mind and be careful with that one. So you're going to go ahead and pause the video now and try it on your own. Once you're done, click play. All right, here we go. We got 2xy, so that's 2 times negative one-fourth times 3. I'm going to do 2 times negative one-fourth. That's like saying 2 over 1 times negative 1 over 4. And I'm going to get negative 2 fourths, which is equal to negative 1 half. And then I need to multiply that by 3, which is the same thing as, coming over here, negative 1 half times 3 over 1. Multiplying straight across, I get negative 3 halves, which is equal to negative 1 and 1 half. Same thing over here for number 2. Plugging in your numbers, 12 times negative 1 fourth minus 3 times 3. 12 times negative 1 fourth, that's going to be 12 over 1 times negative 1 over 4. That's going to give us negative 12 over 4, which is equal to negative 3. So negative 3 minus, and then 3 times 3 is 9. Remember, with our subtraction problems, we're going to do keep, change, change. So negative 3 plus negative 9 is going to give us negative 12. How did you do? The next one, we're just going to talk about how to write algebraic expressions. Write the phrase as an algebraic expression. This just means you're going to see you're going to see numbers and letters or constants and variables mixed into the expression. The sum of twice the number m and 4 means that you're going to add 2m plus 4. 8 less than 3 times the number x means that you're going to be subtracting 8 from 3 times x. You will start to see some of these key terms um, on the next few pages when you're going to try writing algebraic expressions yourself. So just make sure that you are aware sum is addition, product is multiplication, quotient means to div divide, less than, minus, and difference all mean subtraction. Let's go ahead and get you to pause the video here and try the questions. Once you're done, click play to check your work. So this one, number three, says five more than three times the number cubed. So five more would meaning B plus. So five more than three times the number Q. So that's three Q or three times Q. Um, it doesn't, for this one, it doesn't matter what order you put it in. So you could have five plus three Q or three Q plus five. The product of a number P and six. Product, again, means multiplication. The proper mathematical way would be writing it like this, 6p, but you could have also written as p times 6. You cannot write it like this. p6, that does not represent anything. So just make sure I prefer you to write it like this with the number in front followed by the variable. Number 5 says 4 more than 3 times the number t. Again, kind of like number 3. 4 more than 3 times the number t would be 4 plus 3t, or you could do 3t plus 4. The next few you're going to try as well. Again, go ahead and take time now to pause the video. Click play whenever you're ready to check. So these get a little bit tricky because it says 9 less than a number n, and a lot of people get confused here. When it says 9 less than a number, that means that the minus 9 needs to go last because, say for instance, you're doing 9 less than 10, okay? You wouldn't do 9 minus 10 because what you're trying to do is figure out 
how much is 9 less than 10? So you have to start with this part first and do 10 minus 9. Same type of concept here. When it says 9 less than the number n, n minus 9 is your correct way. If you had 9 minus n, that is not correct. You have to have it in this order because with subtraction and division, it's um, very picky and does matter what order they come in. The next one says the quotient of 8 and the number h. When you're given quotient questions, this is the order that it comes in. So the quotient of 8, 8, and the number h divided by h. Or you could also write it like this, 8 over h. Either one of those work. The last one, number 8, 2 less than 7 times the number c. Again, 2 less will have to go at the end. And then 7 times a number c just means 7 times c or 7c. So answer to number 8 is 7c minus 2. That is the order that you have to have it in, so just check your notes. So that's going to conclude our notes for today. Just make sure you have those eight things written down. And go ahead and check on to see what we're going to be doing next.